Today, we're diving into the depths of history to uncover something truly extraordinary. Get ready to be captivated as we unveil 20 hauntingly beautiful treasures that have been found after centuries of being lost to time. These stunning artifacts will leave you breathless and yearning for more. So, without further ado, let's embark on this mesmerizing journey together. Number 20. 350 bars of gold. Let's start this story differently, because sometimes people think they found something valuable, but it turns out to be fake. In this case, in Turkey, the police got involved in a surprising situation. They were told about gold hidden in a canyon, but when they searched, they found 369 bars made of plaster painted to look like gold in a cave. The entrance was blocked. The police caught four people involved, and it turned out a terrorist group made the fake gold. We don't know why they did it, but it seems they went to great lengths to make it. Maybe they wanted to trick someone into thinking it was real gold. So, the police didn't find real gold, but stopping the terrorist group was still important. Number 19. Savile Rich Hoard Once upon a time, a couple in California was walking their dog on their property in the Sierra Nevada mountains in 2014. They'd walked this path many times before, but this day was different. They saw a metal can sticking out of the ground. Curious, they looked inside and found over 1,400 gold coins. Normally, this would be worth around $30,000, but these coins were special and had historical value. They dated from 1847 to 1894, making them worth a popping $10 million altogether. After keeping it a secret until it could be confirmed, they got their payout. The story of their discovery became known as the Saddle Ridge Hoard. Just imagine if someone else had found it first. Number 18. Ringlemere Gold Cup Ringlemere Gold Cup story is about a special cup that was worth a lot of money, even though it was damaged. The person who found it, Cliff Bradshaw, was very happy because he made a lot of money from it. He enjoyed looking for interesting things with his metal detector, which is a tool to find metal objects. One day, while searching on a farm in Kent, England, his metal detector signaled something. He dug and found the Ringlemere Cup a unique gold cup from the Bronze Age, dating back to around 1700 to 1500 BC. It's very rare, only seven like it have been found. Despite being damaged by a plow, its rarity made it valuable. The British Museum bought it for 520,000 pounds. Bradshaw couldn't keep all the money because the farm wasn't his, so he had to share it. Still, it was a good reward for a day of using his metal detector. Number 17. Silverdale Hoard The Silverdale Hoard is a bunch of treasures found together. It's not just one thing, like the gold cup we talked about earlier. About 1,000 years ago, a Viking buried these treasures in a hole. There were five arm rings, coins, hack silver rings, and a brooch. But the Viking never came back for them. Then, in 2011, a man named Darren Webster found them with a metal detector while he was out in a field near Silverdale. There were over 200 pieces of treasure in total, worth around $100,000. Darren Webster shared the value with the landowner. This shows that treasures can be found anywhere. If you're in the area, you might want to try using a metal detector too. Number 16. Staffordshire Hoard If you're thinking about getting a metal detector to find hidden treasure, let me tell you about Terry Herbert's story. He lived in Staffordshire, England. One day, he decided to explore a farm near his home. While searching around with his metal detector, he got a signal and started digging. He found a rare artifact. That's a cool find, right? But Terry didn't stop there. He kept digging for five days straight. Eventually, he filled 244 bags with rare items, mostly made of gold. Can you believe it? It's crazy. The find was so big that archaeologists were called in. They found a total of 3,500 objects, including gold, silver, bronze, and garnet. These items were from the Anglo-Saxon period, making it the largest collection ever found. The whole treasure was worth $3.5 million, and Terry and the landowner split the money. Sometimes, you have to keep digging until you find everything. 
Number 15. Casaria's Sunken Treasure The story is about finding treasure under the sea, not on land. It happened in Kezara National Park in Israel. Some scuba divers were just exploring underwater when they found a gold coin. At first, they thought it was just a toy because people often throw things into the water. But then, they found more and more coins. They were surprised and excited about their discovery. They found over 200 coins in total. These coins were from different times, even different centuries. This was unexpected and made the discovery even more special. The divers got permission to keep looking for more coins. It's hard to say how much the coins are worth because they're so old and unique. But for the divers, it was an amazing experience they'll never forget. Number 14. Fenton Treasure Jack Stoof was very lucky in this story. He found a chest of buried treasure that was famously hidden by author and retired art dealer Forrest Fenn somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. Fenn included clues to its location in a poem from his memoir, The Thrill of the Chase. It might sound like something from a movie, but I assure you, it's a true story. Fenn said the treasure contained about $2 million worth of gold and precious gems. Many people went searching for it because of the clues he provided. Unfortunately, four people died while trying to find it. When Stuff found it, he kept his identity secret for a while, probably for safety reasons. Eventually, he revealed he found it in the mountains of Wyoming, but didn't say exactly where. He didn't want people to turn the place into a pilgrimage site. Some people criticized him for hiding his identity, but when he finally revealed he found the treasure, someone who didn't find it suit him. They believed they deserved a share. This shows how passionate and sometimes extreme treasure hunters can be. Number 13. Roman Coin Hoard The Roman Republic and Empire were really important in history. They made lots of things we still use today. They also had famous and sometimes not so famous people. Even now, we find things from their time in Europe and other places. Like this group of coins, there were 10,000 of them. Someone found these coins in a field near Huntingdon, Cambridgeshire in 2018. They were using a metal detector. So, if you want to find treasure, maybe try a metal detector. These coins are really old, maybe from the 3rd century. That's when the Roman Empire was splitting up. At first, the person who found them only found one made of copper. But they kept looking and found thousands more. They covered the hole back up and got experts to help take the coins out and study them. We're not sure how much they're worth yet. That'll be figured out in late 2021. But because they're connected to such an important part of history, and there are so many of them, lots of museums want them. So they'll probably be worth a lot. Number 12. Tilia tape. Imagine having a big group of special things. At first, there were about 10,000 of these special objects. But then, there were even more, over 20,000. These objects were really valuable, like fancy jewelry, coins, and other cool stuff. They were made from different materials like gold, silver, and ivory. They were found in six big burial mounds made for five women and one man. These people lived a long time ago, between the years 100 BC and 100 AD. Here's where it gets interesting. These objects were first found and kept in a museum in Afghanistan. But then, in the 1990s, they disappeared. Some people think the government might have had something to do with it. Later, in 2003, they were discovered hidden under a bank building in Kabul, but no one could find the keys to open the vault where they were kept. So, they had to break open the safe to get the objects back. Eventually, the Afghan government and France made an agreement. They decided to share the collection with the world. The objects were shown in exhibitions in different countries with the help of famous museums and the National Geographic Society. So. Even though there were some problems along the way, everything turned out well in the end. Number 11. Hanuman Doka Treasure Sometimes, you don't know what you'll find until you look. That's what happened in 2011 in Nepal. A team from the government went to the Hamandoka Durbar Square area. They thought they might find valuable treasure in two storerooms. It wasn't a strange idea because the place was special. 
When they opened the first room, they found nothing. But in the other room, they found 15 metal and wooden boxes and seven safes. The Director General at the Department of Archaeology said they found 42 big pieces of silver, each as big as a brick, 90 smaller pieces, a Buddha statue, and many other things. It might not be the biggest treasure ever found, but considering it was hidden in a palace for who knows how long, it's still impressive. This palace has given up many treasures before. In 1991, over 1,000 kilograms of gold and silver jewelry were found in the king's living room. So, when you think about these two cases together, you realize this place was full of hidden things. If one palace has so much treasure, who knows what others might be hiding? Number 10. The Atocha. This time, it's from a real-life treasure ship. Did you know there were many treasure ships throughout history? In 1622, a group of ships was getting ready to leave from Havana, Cuba, and sail straight to Spain. There were 28 ships in this fleet, carrying gold, silver, emeralds, pearls, and more from different countries in Central and South America. I won't tell you how long they have been collecting that treasure, but I bet you can guess. Here's where things get interesting. As they started their journey home, a huge hurricane hit them. Most of the fleet sank, including one very important ship called the Atocha. The story of this ship spread everywhere, especially when pieces of it and its treasure washed up in Florida. Many people went searching in the waters to see what they could find, hoping for a piece of the treasure. One treasure hunter named Mel Fisher spent 16 years of his life trying to find the Atocha, and in 1985, he finally did. He discovered what was called the Mother Lode, which was worth an estimated $450 million when everything was added up. Now, instead of just keeping the treasure for himself, Fisher did something really special. He used the money to create a museum where he could display all the treasure he had found from the Atocha. Number 9. Treasure of Nimrud The valuable things from Nimrud, like jewelry and special items, were found in the late 1980s. They were hidden in a Syrian king's graves near Mosul in Iraq. People say these treasures are as important as the things found in King Tut's tomb. This is a big deal because King Tut's tomb is very famous. But many thought these Nimrud treasures were lost when Iraq had a lot of problems, especially when Saddam Hussein was removed by US forces. There was a lot of stealing in Iraq at that time. Fast forward to June 2003, a filmmaker named Jason Williams went with National Geographic to find the Nimrud treasures. They were kept safe in the Central Bank of Iraq since 1990. They wanted to make sure these treasures were still safe. Some people were trying to protect these treasures so that they wouldn't be lost forever. But sadly, there are still people who want to steal these valuable things. That's why it's really important to find them and keep them safe, so we don't lose important parts of history. Number 8. Padmanabha Swami Temple Treasure The Padmanabha Swami Temple Treasure is a bunch of very valuable things hidden underground. It has golden chairs, hats, coins, statues, shiny jewelry, diamonds, and other precious gems. This treasure was not in just one place, but in six different places. The temple where it was hidden is also a special place for worship. In the year 2011, only one of these hidden places had been opened. It was called Vault B, but there was a lot of excitement because people thought there would be lots of treasure in there. People were arguing about who should own this treasure and who had the right to open the other hidden places where treasure might be. This is understandable because the things hidden were very valuable. Number 7. Recluse's Gold Meet Walter Samasco Jr. He was a man who liked to keep to himself. When he passed away, hardly anyone noticed. He didn't have many friends or family. But here's the surprise, even though he only had $200 in his bank account, he had a lot more money hidden in his garage. When city officials came to clean out his house, they found gold worth $7.4 million. It was old coins from Austria dating back to the 1890s. Nobody knows how he got them, but there were papers showing he bought them legally. The funny thing is, Walter didn't have anyone to leave his money to. So, the courts found a distant cousin of his and told them they were now rich. 
Number 6. The Panajewarshti Treasure This treasure was found at a ceramic factory in Bulgaria on December 8, 1949. Three brothers named Pavel, Peko and Mikhail Dekov found it while they were digging clay to make bricks. They were just doing their job when suddenly they discovered a treasure. This allowed them to probably quit their jobs, which was a good deal. The artifacts they found were made of solid gold, so they were very valuable. The pieces were later given to museums to display, and replica sets were made to show off the treasures even more. No one knows why the treasure was buried where the brothers were digging, but now they're out of the ground and safe. Number 5. The Bactrian Gold in the 1980s, in Afghanistan, many old things were taken from where they were meant to be. One of these things is now called the Bactrian Gold. Around 22,000 pieces of treasure were taken, and nobody knew where they went. Some people thought it was taken because of the fighting in Russia, but it turns out a group of Afghan people took the treasure to keep it safe. They eventually gave it back so it could be shown to everyone again. Number 4. And of faith. Finding gold is more common than you might think. Some people look for it on purpose, while others stumble upon it by chance. Then, there are those who find huge amounts of it, which seems unbelievable. This happened in Australia with something called the Hand of Faith. It happened in 1980 in a place called Wedderburn in Victoria, Australia. A man named Kevin Hillier found it. Now he's very famous and very rich because of this big piece of gold he found. Why is he so famous and rich? Well, he didn't find just a small piece of gold, he found a huge chunk of pure gold weighing 60 pounds. Experts said it was worth about $5 million. This is now the biggest piece of gold in the world. Finding it caused a big gold rush in Australia that's still going on today. It was even shown on a TV show called Gold Rush during one season of Parker's Trail. Number 3. San Jose In the past, during a war in Spain, the king needed money. So, he sent a big ship called the San Jose to South America to get treasure from the colonies there. But on June 8, 1708, a British ship sank the San Jose. It had lots of gold, silver and emeralds from South America on it worth around $17 billion. People really wanted to find it because it was like finding a super valuable treasure. They found the ship in 2015, after it had been underwater for over 300 years. At first, they kept it a secret so that thieves wouldn't steal the treasure. Number 2. The Han Dynasty Now let's talk about China. They made a big discovery about gold coins. They found the biggest group of old Chinese coins ever. These coins are really ancient, going back to the Han Dynasty. This discovery showed how important these coins are. After digging a lot, they found about gold coins mixed with regular cash. These coins were mostly the same as the ones found in wooden boxes. This means people took care of them before burying them. They also think there might be more coins if people keep digging in that area. Number 1. King Tut's Tomb Finding King Tut's Tomb in 1922 was a big deal. It wasn't just about the treasure found inside. It also sparked a lot of interest in archaeology in Egypt. People got excited about uncovering more history from ancient Egypt. Even today, we're still learning new things from Tut's Tomb. It's become famous in pop culture with stories about curses and mysteries. This discovery influenced how we see treasure hunting. What do you think about these treasure stories? Which one would you like to discover? Do you know any other cool discoveries? Share your thoughts below. And don't forget to check out other interesting stuff. See you next time.